first thing you want to do when it's on the vehicle is to raise up the top bar, put the pin back in, and uh, depending on the type of vehicle you have, an SUV like this with a fairly flat back, you're going to want to slope it back, probably to the second setting like so. And then to load bikes, we've got an assortment of bikes here. We've got some 29ers, 26s, 20s, 24s. It doesn't really matter about the, about the wheel size. The first one I got here is a 29er. The key to loading the bikes is to grab the bike, first hand down low on the fork, right down here like this, second hand on the seat tube area like that. Lift the bike vertically and then load the rack from the side of the rack, not from behind. So I'm loading from the right hand side here. I'm going across, I'm placing the crown of the fork into the cradle. Okay. Now the next bike, this one's a 26er, it's a downhill type bike. Again, one hand on the seat tube area, second hand down low on the fork. Lift the bike vertically and load it from the right hand side of the rack. Crown in just like that. And the next bike we have, got another 29er, same thing. Seat tube area of the frame, second hand down low on the fork, lift it vertically, load it from the right hand side of the rack. The crown goes in like that. And the last bike, 24, 20, I'll take the 20 here. It's a little kid's bike. Same technique, seat tube area, down low on the fork, load it in, crown in just like that. Now to secure the rear wheels, first thing you want to do is just organize the pedals, make sure the pedals are not really interfering with each other. Take this lower rope, has a series of knots in it, run it through the wheel keeping it square, back underneath this bar, pull it till the nearest knot, hooks into the little groove there. I like to see a little hitch on there like that, but it's not really necessary. Same thing with this one. Through the wheel. Back underneath, little hitch. I'll just go around the other side there. Through the wheel, pull it, little, little hitch on there. Then this uh, this 20 inch bike, because it is so short, we've added an extra knot way down here. Again, same technique, just pull it until it hooks in, and a little hitch around there is fine. That's it, there's four bikes on there. Okay, so to unload the bikes, same as putting them on, undo the knots there, give it a pull, take the rope off. Again, one hand on the seat tube area there, second hand down low on the fork, lift the bike vertically off the rack. Same thing again here with this one, pull it off like that. Again, hand on the seat tube area, second hand down low on the fork, and the key here is I'm lifting the bike vertically, and I'm taking it off the side. I'm not loading from behind like this, I'm coming straight off the side here. And one more thing I'll show you here is how we can actually access the back of the vehicle. You can take the pin out. It's fine to do it with four bikes on. I'm just showing it with two right now for the purpose of the video. Tilt it back like so. What's happening here is because this hitch is, is fairly low, it's resting on the rear tires or on the rear wheels. On some vehicles, if the hitch is much higher, it'll bottom out right there. You can access the back of the vehicle. Then to raise it up back in. So one of the questions that we get asked regularly is about kids bikes. 
This is a 24 inch kids bike. We have a 20 inch there and a little tiny 12 inch. Start off with this 24 inch. Again, one hand down low on the fork, second hand on the seat tube. Load the bikes on the side of the rack, from, not from behind. Across like that. Crown in. Again, this lower rope is before. It goes through, the pull it on there, it's not hooks in. Second bike I'm going to take here is a 20 inch. Again, one hand down low on the fork, second hand on the seat tube. Load it from the side of the rack. Crown of the fork goes in, just like that. Again, this rope through there. Back underneath, pull till the knot hooks in. Now, this is a tiny, tiny little 12 inch bike. And the whole design of this rack is it doesn't really matter about the wheel size. So again, grab it from the fork there, somewhere around the seat tube. Kind of put the crown in there and wedge it in a little bit because it is a much smaller fork. You do have to give it a bit of a, a wiggle, but it does fit in fine. And then this lower rope on this one because it's not going to touch this, this, lo this lower double bar here. I just have to tie it off, so pull it down, a couple of hitches in there, just like that. So that's three kids' bikes, plus we can also put in a 26 or a 29 or even a 27.5, that's fine.